Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 2000 subscribers on my channel. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribes. Floyd Mayweather Jr. used the press conference he held to promote his September exhibition fight against Mikuru Asakura to discuss the relationship with Jerwanda Davis. Money attacked Davis and his promoter Mayweather promotions. From a young age, he opened doors for him, supported him, trained with him, and took him to become world champion. Former light heavyweight champion Antonio Tarver believes that it's too early to organize a fight between the absolute world lightweight in the lightweight division Devin Haney and the holder of the WBA regular title in the same weight category Jarwanda Davis. According to Tarver, Haney now has to defend his titles in a fight with such a fighter as Jeffy Lopez and YCD Lomachenko. This fight is still too early. I'm sure that the boxing teams will not agree to organize it now. It's just a mega fight, probably between two of the best lightweights in the world. Davian has a lot of work to do right now. He has belts that he has to protect. Let him now look at guys like Teofimo Lopez and Vasily Lomachenko. The time will come and Jarwan Davis will also be on the list, Tarver said. Recall that Devin became the absolute world lightweight champion, defeating George Cambosos by unanimous decision. The post fight took place on June 5 at the Merrill Stadium in Melbourne, Australia. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please, subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 2000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day, and I need your support. Your likes, comments, repost to social networks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for subscribes. Former world champion to wait and now ESPN analyst Timothy Bradley shared his thoughts about the possible duel of the current absolute of the lightweight category Devin Haney with an accountant one to Davis. Everyone says Haney doesn't have a punch, Bradley said in an interview. They're always making up excuses about him. But you don't understand one thing. This kid is very good at tactics. He is tall, strong, physical strong, equally capable in both defense and attack. He has an active jab, nimble combinations and counter punches. Haney can do a lot of things. Imagine a fight between Haney and the tank. Devin will restrain him by controlling the distance with his long arms. That's what he will do. Plus, he will be circling the ring. It should be noted that the tank will have a puncher's chance. There is no doubt about it. But I'm not going to lie. If they fight, I'm betting on Haney. It's hard to hit it. I'm telling you right now, the more skilled the opponent, the better Haney will see as you watched against Cambosos, said Bradley. Promising American lightweight Ryan Garcia ended the opponent with a bomb he is going to short the ring in the upcoming three fights after defeating Javier Fortuna. In the field of vision of Ryan were Vasily Lomachenko and Jerwanda Davis, as well as the absolute lightweight world champion Devin Haney. My goal is to win this fight with Fortuna. After that, I want to meet with Davies in December. After winning the fight with Gervonta, I hope to get either Lomachenko or someone else. This is my plan, which I intended to implement. You never know what might happen in the unit or someone else. But my list looks like this. Tank Davies, Vasily Lomachenko and Davin Haney. Garcia said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.